Yeah, what's up everybody? It's your boy Apa King Carter here. Today we're talking about NBA 2K23. Yes, it is official. News is starting to leak out. The faucets are wide open. The community is always split. This is just how it is, man. So today I'm here to talk to you guys about the NBA 2K23 Jordan cover. Now, if you guys didn't know, the NBA has already leaked that Devin Booker will be the standard edition uh, cover athlete for NBA 2K23. But what I want to talk to you all about is the way that the community always remembers the past. Now, of course, we're talking about Jordan covers, right? The first thing that I saw on social media when it was announced that Jordan was the cover athlete, everybody was talking about how every cover that Jordan was on in NBA 2K was a goaded game for 2K. Now, me personally, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really feel that way. A lot of people, you know, will probably bash me in the comments about that. But I don't always feel the same way the community feels simply because I've been playing 2K since the beginning. So I've if I really sit there and just get on 2K about what they've all, like done before in the past, we could be talking about 2K and their shortcomings for weeks. But I don't have weeks to talk about in this video. So let's go ahead and go over the information for the NBA 2K23 Jordan edition. And then uh, I'll let you guys decide in the comments how y'all feel. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Abba. King Kong. First things first, let's talk about the cover. So, of course, this is the iteration of the cover. They are going with that same type of style that they did in NBA 2K21. Um, they are letting artists actually show case i guess their talents as far as working with them for making their covers they're not really uh with the old school covers of like the moment of an nba player's uh accomplishments with the um the crazy brushed like raised uh imagery and stuff like that like they're going in a very very different artistic way and honestly I'm cool with it because it gives other people work, you know what I mean, and, and things of that nature, and other people able to feed their families. But as far as like looking at it every day, pop popping up in the case like we used to, it's not really giving me that type of vibe. And plus, I already know I'm gonna probably have like a digital version of it, so I'm never really gonna see the case unless it's like up on a wall or if they give me like a collectible edition type joint. That's just me, you know what I mean. But let's hop into the news now. All right, so the first bit of news that I got on this list is the trailer. I know how you guys are. Y'all always want to see trailers first. I really don't care about too much of the news because that's going to take a longer breakdown. So let's go ahead and watch the video together. I won't really need to slow much of this down because they don't really have any NBA 2K23 gameplay in it, okay? They only got a couple cuts and camera angles and stuff like that. No official gameplay where you get to see like icons and play art and stuff like that no all right so let's go ahead and hop into the trailer now of course everybody already knows coming out the tunnel every everybody's seen that in the nba 2k21 the detail of the sneakers i can say that 2k was working on that for a couple years and when next gen came i felt like they kind of gave up on the detail of sneakers but it looks like they trying to come back with a little bit of details on the sneakers but i will say i do have two images that i want to show y'all of the young michael jordan and the older michael jordan from the 80s and the 90s and i'm gonna tell you right now i wasn't really that happy with what i saw but we we, we gonna talk about it man now of course like I told y'all, cuts, camera art, stuff like that. You know what I mean? A younger Jordan. You feel me? Like, it ain't really too much crazy gameplay here. That's it. That's literally it. And then we're back to the art that I just showed you guys. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, they're saying pre-order now. Everybody's going to pre-order. That's usually how it goes because everybody wants, like, the little package and stuff like that. But I want to tell y'all about the news that comes with the Jordan Edition. Let's hop into that. So the biggest question that I always have in my comment sections and on social media, 
where do you get your information? I strictly get most of my information straight from 2K. And that's why a lot of people be hitting me up on Twitter or in my Instagram about the information that I be posting because they like, yo, where you get this information from? Like, are you following certain accounts to get it or this, that, and the third? I rarely don't use the information that I see on leaked accounts simply because they're always getting in trouble. I know for a fact that 2k loves to hold on to the information that they are rolling out because they have deadlines they have things that they have to meet they have rollout times and stuff like that and if those times are broken fines people getting fired a whole bunch of that different stuff happens so when leaks come out 2k is always trying to tighten them things up and i'm not gonna lie to y'all leak like leak accounts and stuff like that like people that want to be news outlets but aren't sanctioned they get the brunt of it bro i'm talking about they get their videos taken down, posts taken down, accounts suspended. You know what I'm saying? Accounts delete. Like, it's just a whole bunch of nonsense. And I tend to not to use a lot of information from those. So I refrain from doing that in this video. But let's talk about the information that I do have from 2K. Now, of course, this is the year of greatness. Michael Jordan unveiled as the NBA 2K23 cover athlete across two special editions of this year's game. That means the player who needs no introduction, Michael Jordan returns to grace the cover of the NBA 2K23 Michael Jordan edition and the limited NBA 2K23 championship edition. Now, let me get something straight for y'all. All the people who speculated that LeBron James was going to have a cover this year. Wrong. Devin Booker has a standard edition. Michael Jordan has his Michael Jordan edition. And Michael Jordan is going to be on the NBA 2K23 championship edition. But what comes with that edition is a lot of different stuff that we're going to be talking about. This is where, you know, they, they talk about Jordan in the highest regard and stuff like that. So they start talking about all his accolades and the ultra premium NBA 2K23 championship edition, right? It says Jordan's career transformed the NBA into a global phenomenon uh, uh, for the 24th year of NBA 2K23. Jordan is the perfect embodiment of this year's campaign theme, Answer the Call. As an athlete who has always rose to the occasion, Jordan returns to star on two NBA 2K23 covers, giving an opportunity for old and new fans alike to celebrate a talent who left the world in all throughout his career. Now, of course, after making 23 the most recognizable number in sports, it was only fitting that he gets the cover. Uh, uh, um, they talk about this NBA 2K23 Championship Edition where um, the word champion like Jordan, it's a limited edition version that offers players the opportunity to catch on-court action throughout the season with 12-month subscriptions to NBA League Pass. I repeat, if you buy the Championship Edition, which is $150, you get NBA League Pass for one year for free now let me be clear nba league pass will be included after after that one year is up if you don't want nba league pass no more please make sure you cancel it because if you don't they will make you pay for it after the one year is up so i repeat to all my people out there that are gonna get this code for this nba league pass when it's all said and done after the year if you get this addition please make sure you cancel it because you're going to get charged if you're not using it anymore. All right. Now, also, the game will be releasing September 9th. I repeat, September 9th is when NBA 2K23 drops on all platforms, okay? Now, um, along with Michael Jordan, the greatest covers of NBA 2K23, it is reintroducing the Jordan Challenge. So, for all my people that remember the old NBA 2K, Jordan, NBA 2K11, Jordan Challenge is going to have a whole array of things, but alternative original challenge for NBA 2K11 have been completely rebuilt from the ground up, which means better graphics, stuff like that. Of course, people are going to try to do those challenges, me, myself as well, um, alongside five new iconic Jordan moments for an entire new generation of players to experience. That means that it's a total of 15. So, for everybody who's done the 10, if you don't want to do the 10 and you want to do the 5, maybe you can just do the 5 and get up out of there. Or you may have to do the 10 to get the extra 5. I'm not sure. But I know this is what they drop. These challenges take advantage of more than a decade of technological leaps to provide a completely new way to play through Jordan's accomplishments. All housed within its own game mode. Finally, 2K has said, you know what? We are about to take advantage of next gen. We are finally going to take advantage of all that space, all that data, all that RAM, all those graphics, everything 
and finally give us another mode. Now, of course, this is a mode that's probably like, you know what I mean, a little bare bones, or maybe they just only focus on the Jordan thing. You can't really go online with him. Maybe you might not even be able to play in my career with him. You just never know. You know what I'm saying? The Jordan Challenge also elevates an array of spellbinding performances across Jordan Challenge. NBA and Team USA basketball careers that players can experience across all 15 challenges and includes a unique video vignettes of that uh come with special commentary from an array of nba uh luminaries so jordan's teammates opponents sports personalities who saw him do it live can bring to life his legacy to a younger generation of nba fans man i don't like reading much uh more details on the jordan challenge in nba 2k23 will be released later this summer so of course if I'm thinking about it, they probably have about a month rollout of what these challenges will be, different video uh, clips and stuff like that that they will be uploading to social media. So, of course, you know, everybody's going to be eyes on the 2K account on Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, Michael Jordan is one of the most decorated athletes in the NBA, NBA 2K history. Uh, both his editions collectively mark his fourth time headlining the NBA cover. He was previously on the cover for NBA 2K11, NBA 2K12, and NBA 2K16 Special Edition. Now, remember I told you guys earlier in the video when I was like, um, I'm not really a fan of every 2K that Jordan was on because I've played all of them. And I'm going to tell you guys what edition is that I didn't like. I didn't like NBA 2K12. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people liked it. It was the start of a whole nother thing. And I believe NBA 2K12 started where we are now. So if you don't like the way that in the direction that 2K went, you can all sum it up to NBA 2K12. NBA 2K12 was like the start of like, oh, God. What, what's what's going on here? Oh, it's so much new stuff. Oh, okay. And eventually, it also started the, the console wars. You know what I mean? Xbox versus PlayStation. Old gen versus new gen. Like, it's like, bruh, so many things have happened over this, this what, decade of video games. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. I want to see what this title has to bring. And I want to see what they're going to be doing for the next decade. You feel what I'm saying? But um, let's see. Uh, stay tuned for more cover athlete reveals over the next two days and pricing when pre-orders go live on July 7th. So today is July 5th. Let me be clear. I'm not taking this news from nobody, but we already have seen the pricing of 2K and where it can go. All right, where it can go. So everybody knows the baseline for next gen games is about $70. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're saying that they got a uh, standard edition, MJ edition, championship edition. I'm thinking $69.99, $99.99, $149.99. If they go above that for anything else, they better be giving us some stuff IRL. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they better be giving us something crazy. Now, let me also be clear. Um, yeah, you can follow 2K and all that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to be reading this in a second. But um, I have been blocked by Ronnie 2K for... Probably about eight months. So if anybody sees any tweets from Ronnie 2K that I might need for news videos and stuff like that, screenshot them and DM them to me on Twitter or send DM them to me on IG or whatever the case may be. All right. But let's talk about this. Um, Offer only available with the purchase of NBA 2K23 Championship Edition, Championship Edition Digital only available for pre-order. The Championship Edition Physical will be available in select regions and select retailers while stocks last. Pre-order to guarantee a copy. Not available on Nintendo Switch. NBA League Pass code will be delivered to an email address associated with your NBA 2K account. All right, which means if you are one of those people that constantly get your accounts banned, constantly gotta make new accounts, if you're an account seller, whatever, you need to figure out what account you're going to be using on 2K because that's going to be the email that they're going to send your NBA League Pass to. So I would hate to see the first week when 2K comes out, everybody complaining about how they don't have their NBA League Pass code because you play on nine different accounts and you don't know which one you pre-ordered on and which one you're going to sign in. Can't remember the email password and all that too. Get your house in order, all right? Um, let's say NBA League Pass valid for 12 months for redemption and auto renews monthly unless canceled prior to renewal date at the then current published. See, that's what I like. 
the fine print. The thing that I told y'all in the beginning about the NBA League Pass, it won't cancel. It's just going to auto-renew and you're going to be paying. They, they, they let you know right now. It's going to auto-renew. <laughs> Check your debit card, your credit card, your bank account, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys run that like button up um, to basically give you guys all the information that I understand. Devin Booker, standard edition cover. Michael Jordan on both MJ edition and championship edition. NBA League Pass is coming with it. Pre-order bonus details and stuff like that will be dropping like in the next couple hours. I know that it's already getting leaked out there, but to be clear, we know what the pre-order bonuses are going to be. We've been playing 2K for a couple years now. They're going to focus on my team. The, my team is going to get the brunt of all of the, the pre-order details. With the M MJ edition and stuff like that, you're probably going to get a whole bunch of Jordan content, sneakers, clothing, even some special clothing and stuff like that. Most of the time, especially with the city, they was dropping backpacks. They was dropping sleeves. They was dropping Gatorade boosts, my career boosts, VC. I, did they, they didn't drop a shoe. They might have dropped a hat. And that's really about it. You might get like some my team cards, some my team points. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like that's that's all the bundle be wrapped up in. But it's not enough to feed your need to upgrade a player. So for everybody that's going to be getting the game, you have to decide if the pre-order bonuses is worth it. You're going to have to decide if the, the special editions and stuff is worth it for your pockets because you want to know how much VC you're going to get with those pre-order bonuses. And you need to know that if you want to make a build and that be your build to start out, make sure you like that build. Don't just make a build, be 60 overall, and then throw $100 into the game. And then you be coming to my channel looking for build videos. You know what I'm saying? Wait it out. Give it like, get, I would say give it seven to nine hours before youtubers start making build videos and stuff like that especially on next gen all right <clears throat> but with that being said i want to thank you guys again for watching and i will see y'all next time peace you better be ipod you better be shake with jay-z and bruce or get baked right after the loss your team